Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video I will be showing you how you can perform golden ticket attack in an active directory network. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. Guys, first of all, really really thank you for all your support. If you want to connect with me personally, you can check out my Twitter and LinkedIn. And if you want to be part of this channel's community, you can check out my Discord server. All the links are in the description below. So golden ticket attack is one you mostly perform in an active directory network. So it can be performed in two situations. One, it can be used for persistence. For example, you have already compromised the domain admin or domain whole domain and uh, assume that you want to have some persistence in form of a ticket then golden ticket comes place and it also can be used for the privilege escalation for example if you are able to find out the krb tgt hash so i'll come to what this krb tgt hash in a minute so and for example you only got the hash of this particular krb tgt user and you are yet to find the administrator hash or credential sort of stuff while during your post exploitation then you can use this golden ticket attack and you can gain access on the domain admin as well or the domain controller as well and you can perform a lot of stuff so this is my notes here so first of all uh, uh and this is a two-part series so this in this part i'll be showing you everything how you can perform the golden ticket attacks using mimikatz and in the next part i'll be showing you how you can perform the same golden ticket attack using impact suit so stay tuned for uh, more videos so so as i told you he will, here we'll be using only mimikatz and i hope you know what mimikatz is and in order to perform this golden ticket attack the first and the foremost thing you need is the hash of the krb tgt user so how you can attain it so uh, you can dump it okay so lsa dump uh, you can i'll leave all these commands in my notes uh, in my oscp cheat sheet notes you can even find it in my description so go there and check that out so you have main goal here is to find out this SID so this SID of the domain as well as the hash of the KRB TGT user so currently in my particular domain uh, in my network I can't show this because it's very limited for me like you cannot find out the hash of this KRB TGT user all the time only you can only find it on few machines out there so if you find it out then you can perform this golden ticket attack so these are some ways like uh, as always you can run mimikatz uh, so if you want to run mimikatz make sure you're having the highest privileges on that machine so that you can dump more information then you can use any of these following methods and you can uh, dump the hash of the krb tgt it's like an ntlm hash like a same hash that you might see for other domain uh, domain users so it's very simple so make sure you are uh, doing that okay so obtain the sid domain sid so domain sid is fairly easy to find you can find it easily on your uh, uh, in any of the command like almost all the command displays this domain SID or you can use this uh, impact it uh, lookup SID or something like that and you can find out this domain SID and then the important thing KRB TGT user has so this KRB TGT is a user uh, as you can see it's a Kerberos ticket granting ticket user so j this just grants ticket and here we are uh, asking for a golden ticket and which is very important for us because you can inject this ticket it's like some sort of a cookie sort of thing you can call you will inject this into the memory and you will try to uh, gain the highest privileges possible okay so let's go ahead so this is my simple uh, network here so i only has a domain controller and a client one and you can always feel free to do it in your own it's not a big deal so first of all uh, let's go to i'll enlarge this a little bit users and angela okay so let me customize this a little bit font 28 i think that would be fine yes this is fine so now let me run this mimikatz okay and this privilege okay uh this sorry uh, privilege debug okay and uh, now you can just run this command so you don't need to remember it so it's simple so uh, first you can it's always recommended to run this purge command so if there are some existing tickets it gets removed so cut and uh, colon colon purge okay so 
if there are any tickets it gets purged okay so as of now we don't have any so that's fine and now coming here so uh, let me explain you this command a little bit so what this command does so here we are asking for the golden ticket so that is our main goal and i'm looking for a username called as satvik so like this is a username so once you get this ticket right this ticket will be uh, issued in the name of that particular user on that particular uh, domain okay so you can give anything like fancy like attacker offensive hacker or pawn or whatever it is so i'm just giving satvik here so it's fine and the domain slash domain so give the name of your proper domain okay so i hope once you're in hedi network you'll find it everywhere so just give it and the domain sid it, this is remember this is a domain sid so you'll also find the sid for the users but make sure to check that out it's a domain sid and slash krb tgt and uh, separated by colon just paste the hash of the krb tgt user that you obtained and slash ticket golden so here it is getting it's going to save with the name golden so i'm just going to copy this and uh, just paste it let me hit enter and you can see it is generated it's very simple now if i go back so you can see there is this actual ticket this golden ticket okay so that is one thing it's very simple so that's how you generate and in order to uh, how to use this is also very simple so uh, you can now once you get it so if you're in a real time right you can just make a copy of this golden uh, ticket file and you can see the expiry date is also uh, it's like a decade you know like 2033 so this particular uh, golden ticket works for a long time so it's useful still useful but i think it won't be that useful because you are doing a pen test right so you'll be reporting everything and you don't do uh, illegal part after that so that's a different thing so now we got the uh, golden ticket here and everything is fine now let's uh, let me show you what uh, it looks like so let me close this let me open a new command prompt like I just want to show you uh, that I don't have access to this domain controller. So I have this PSXX. Okay, so I'm just going to mention the name of my DC. Like that my DC name is just DC. Okay, the domain controller. And I'm just asking for the cmb.exe. So you can see access is denied. Like with the current user that I have, I don't, I cannot do, uh, like I can't access the DC okay that's very simple now what we will be doing is let's run the mimikatz again so here i'm not running as the highest privileged user so i'm just running as a normal user and again the commands are simple so a uh, kerberos ptt golden so make sure the location you are there on is a uh, bit relevant okay so here i'm in angela location sometimes you may get that error and my golden ticket uh, is also in this angela user location so make sure you keep that in mind you can see once it is successfully exported you can see file golden okay now it's fairly simple you just ask where we'll be just requesting for the command uh, command cmd.exe to be simple so misc cmd.exe or just cmd is fine so now you can see i have one more terminal open so i'll just make it a bit bigger uh, again 28 so now i have this thing so now let's do psxx okay so uh, if i type who am i you can see it's just a uh, normal user like now let's exit uh, now let's uh, access the dc okay so see cmd.exe so now you can see it is fairly positive for me like uh, with this ticket so krb tgt is like it gives you it grants you like any privilege to you want so it will give you the domain admin privilege of the user that you wanted to so just wait for some time and now you have access to this machine and the biggest fault with this particular approach that i told you is uh, you require gui access so it may not always be possible but i think it's a good chance like 80 percent of the chance like if you have the highest privilege on the system then you can start the rdp service and you can add the user that you uh, uh that you hacked or that you got into to that rdp group and i think you can access that it's not a big deal but if you're strictly only to the command line then uh, impact suit is one which will be useful for you and i will cover that how you can do that in the next video so if i type who am i now now you can see it's evil corp satvik so satvik is the user that i created and if i type who am i slash all 
like all the privileges that I can see you can see here I'm a domain admin I'm a domain admin okay so this is how this golden ticket attack works so like you, you just get your golden ticket and just keep it with you and you can access any machine anytime okay so with the highest privileges possible okay so that is how it works you can see the SID so this is the SID uh, sometimes you'll find the last two this is nothing but the ID of that user so only the this part is called the domain SID and as you can see I'm a domain admin I can add a new user to this domain uh, you know like a net user add this domain admin user to this particular domain and I can have access so this is one cool way like uh, I never used it for the persistence part uh, like while solving few hack the box machines as well as the try hack me machines I use this particular approach of this golden ticket to gain the privileges of the domain so that is how I used so so obviously now we are a domain admin so what I used to do is like I used to add a normal user with other uh, name and uh, and I'll be adding that to the domain admins group so that I can access all the machines in the domain uh, in the AD easily so guys this is the easiest way like there are so many other ways like pass the ticket and pass the hash sort of stuff but I feel this is a bit easy and uh, you can also follow your own approach but this is what I use and uh, this works fine for me and if, and also guys if you do end up liking this video make sure you like it and uh, as I told you I'll be making other path in which I'll be using completely impacted suit in order to do this golden ticket attack really thank you for watching this video till the end this is Satvik signing off i'll meet you in the next video thank you bye